Hi everyone, I've taken the time to put a bit of a treatment together, presentation for Chantal's wedding. First up, we have the dress. We have the princess moment. We have a big full train, layers and layers of chiffon and tulle, big girl, big dress. We want her to have her Disney moment. Now we're moving on to a pizza dress. Yes, pepperoni pizza dress. He loves her more than pizza. So wouldn't he get a shock of his life if she's gonna roll down the aisle looking like a total snack. Now this one is a more traditional dress, um, Syrian, red and gold embellishment. Chantal does love it to uh, respect culture, so I could see her in this one. Madonna moment. I could imagine her like a virgin, rolling down the aisle towards her man. Now every Canadian queen needs a sparkly crown. So here we go, we've got a crown. Now we don't want any tumbles down the aisle, so we're gonna give our girl some flats, some pretty little ankle straps. We've got little diamantes on the front. Just gonna finish off that dress, beautiful. Now the flowers, we've got some traditional roses and some subdued hose, pop a red for romance, but we've also added some chocolates in there so she can have a little snacky snack walking down the aisle. Now the groom, the feature of the day, the mainstay, we've got a burgundy suit. Why burgundy? Match back with your pepperoni pizza dress. Yes, 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 yes. Got some traditional dress. Sharp look, this one. I very much like this. I love that jacket. We've got a ham colored suit for our groom so we can do a couple's moment. Fabulous. Now the bridal party, the holy trinity. One, two, three. Gold Gatno glitter dresses. Yep. I don't care if you're a boy, don't care if you're a girl. You're wearing the gold dress. Now, Sam's got a suit option. Sam's got a Hawaiian shirt option. I feel like Sam would be a guy to rock up at a wedding in a Hawaiian shirt. Now, our precious BBJ, the beautiful queen that she is, hat moment for her. Hats, 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 all day long. Now, the venue, orange juleps. Where else could we have it? There is nowhere else that Chantal loves more than the orange juleps. Now, we've got plenty of space. We've got plenty of parking, but we could set this up with a couple of tents. Fit all of Chantal's friends and family in there. Fill it to the gills. Now the menu, we've got our starters. We've got the bubble ganoush, we've got the crunchy chips, we've got the melty cheese. What more could anybody want? A gastronomical delight. For your mains, we don't have fish, we don't have steak. We have poutine, we have pogos. The guests are gonna love this beige, beige, beige all day long. It's the theme of the food. We don't do salads in this house. We do pickles. Beauty loves a pickle, her guests will love a pickle. Salty and briny. For dessert, we've got fluff and chocolate. Lochmas, we love a Lochma moment, guys. Enjoy, now the cake, the piece de resistance. Burger cake, yep. Burger King wedding cake. Couldn't think of anything more delicious. Now there's nothing more that Foodie loves than a big, fat, juicy piece of cake. We've got pink Moscato. We've got the Wayne Gretzky, Pepsi and the Crush, all on disposable cutlery and tableware. Nothing's wasted at this wedding, guys. And transport, the Hoopty, the Kia, he's getting a dressing up too. Can't miss out on the Kia. Got to get him to and from the wedding. Now the first dance, Hot Days, Cuban Nights, La Ista Bonita, the most romantic place on the planet. She's going to remember it for always. Now the gift bag, we're gonna double down on this one. We're gonna gift the guests a Samsung phone because we need photography, but we do not want unfiltered photos, guys. We're also gonna get a CD single of Pathetic by our superstar, Foodie Beauty. We're gonna get a Kuwait postcard because everybody deserves a postcard, whether you're on the tier or not. We're getting some edibles and everybody's getting a hundred bucks for rocking up at the wedding because Foodie's a generous kind of gal. Now. Honeymoon, guys, I bet you're asking, I bet you're curious, where are we gonna go? Well, we're not gonna go to Kuwait because we, we, we've had our probably our wedding in Kuwait or we've had the wedding in, in um, Canada. But we're gonna hit up Turkey, we're gonna hit up Egypt, we're gonna hit up Morocco. These are three places that Foodie has been absolutely gagging to go to. Totally munging for it. Could not wait to get herself there. Heading off to the Middle East, guys. Yes, we are. Can't go to Syria right now, can't go to the hometowns but the Middle East will have to do for now. Congratulations to the happy couple. 
I don't know about anybody else, but I just feel like this one is going to be one of those loves that's going to last forever. Okay, guys. Bye.